Sup WordPress nerds, in today's video we're going to be doing a quick one here. We're going to just be going over how to create custom Yoast tags for your WordPress site. Um, this is only going to apply if you use Yoast as your SEO plugin, but a lot of you do, so I'm going to be working with that today. Um, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of my weekly WordPress videos. All right, so custom Yoast tags. So the thing that I wanted to try here is being able to kind of update the output of what these uh, tags are. So this is what the tags are more or less is that you have like this SEO title, meta description, and you can also do it on kind of like a per post type or per category uh, basis. We're just gonna be focusing on the individual post here because it honestly applies to the rest. Um, and so what you can kind of do is you can kind of come in here and you can insert a variable. You can just say like what the site title is, or you can say what the title of the post is. You hit save. And then what that's going to do is that's going to pump out right here with the for the SEO title. So that's what's going to show up in search results. So you might want to customize that. You might want to pull in information from somewhere else, or you might want to actually uh, replace what's being generated there um, by the defaults. So we're going to cover two scenarios here. We're going to cover number one is how to add a brand new one. If you just want to, you need to pull in some information from somewhere. You just need a different string of text that needs to go in. Um, that's what we'll be covering first. And so that's what this looks like right here. So in order to add a new variable, you have to use the action WP SEO register extra replacements. And then you have to toss in an anonymous function or you name a function or whatever. I'm using an anonymous function here. Um, and then you're gonna check to make sure this function exists so that way it doesn't blow up <laughs> if you are if you uh, have Yoast uninstalled or deactivated. Um, and then WP register SEO, or WP SEO register var replacement. So that's the function that SEO, Yoast SEO gives us, so we're gonna be using that. And it takes a few arguments here. The first one is the string that we will be replacing. So what we're gonna have is a double percent the name of the variable, then a double, another double percent um, symbol. The next thing is the function that it's going to run, do any sort of logic, grab the post, do whatever, but you're gonna be returning a string. Um, and then the last two um, is advanced and basic, and I'm gonna be completely honest, I have no idea what the difference is. I've looked for it over and over again. No idea what's basic, no idea what's advanced. If somebody knows, please comment below, because I could not figure it out. Um, and the last is just some helper text to help the user understand what actually is this thing is going to be doing. So what I've done is I've created a variable uh, called WPC. And what that's going to do is it's going to return WPCast hyphen WordPress tutorials for the real world. And that's it. So what we can do is we can go back to our page here. We can refresh. Um, and then what I'm going to be doing is erasing this. And I'm going to do double percent WPC double percent and that's going to replace it with that right there and then we're going to update it and then we can refresh this and so what that's given us is that's given us our content so you can um, do anything you want you can you know query by a post and grab something else you can get into the meta fields if you need to grab something out of acf if you need to like Oh, I don't know, read into like an Elementor page, you can grab the Elementor data, read through it and like pull certain things out. Like that, that's where I think this is like really useful. If you need to like get something very specific that's specific to this post, I think it's, it's a pretty useful thing here. Um, okay, so the other scenario we're gonna cover is like, all right, we've got the title or something like that and we wanna just change it or append to it or something like that. So there is a different way that you would go about that is there's an actual filter that uh, Yoast gives you, which is called WPSEO replacements. And so that's gonna return an array of replacements. So all you have to do is check to see if something is set. Um, so whichever variable you care about. And so there's like a million that you can choose from. I'm gonna bring over this right here. So this is the list of available variables. I'm gonna put the link here in the description, but you can have things like date, titles, parent titles, archives, etc. And then you can have things like the post type, the modified, the ID, the name, anything like that. So you can take these variables, wait for them, and then change them based off of that. 
Um, so what I'm gonna suggest here is we're just gonna grab the title and then we're just going to append after the title just a pipe and then another string. So we can do something that looks a little bit like this. Um, so let's re-edit the post, let's refresh here. And then so if I just get rid of this guy and I insert the title, we should have the title plus that pipe. So let's refresh, yep, so we've got hello world, the name of the post, then a space, then a pipe, then a space, our new page replacement. So this one is not just adding any, like adding a new one, this is taking an existing one, modifying it, and then outputting it again. So you can do a lot of creative things as there as well, like you maybe you can bring in the ID and use that ID to go grab something else. It, there, I mean, limitless possibilities here. Maybe if you're like doing like a car dealership or something like that, you can have like the title and you can query base off of that to grab the make and other things as well. So I think that this is a pretty cool little thing to have in your back pocket. Um, so I hope you all learned something from this. If you have any other suggestions of things you'd like me to cover in the future, or if you feel like I missed something here, definitely comment down below. I appreciate you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.